This is the slope intercept proof. To prove the slope intercept equation, first we need to prove slope. Slope we start off with, with two general points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. We then use the fact that m is equal to the change in y over the change in x. So we then represent their corresponding parts on the x-axis and the y-axis. x1 is the first corresponding part, x2 the second corresponding part, y1 and y2. The change in y is defined as the difference between y2 minus y1. The change in x is the difference between x2 minus x1. We then substitute these values in for m. m equals the change in y, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Next, we have the point slope form that we need to get to. To get there, we use our slope equation, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We then want to multiply both sides by x2 minus x1. The x2 minus x1s on the right cancel. And let's go ahead and rewrite it. y2 minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x2 minus x1. At this step, we want to let the y2 and x2 values be any general y and any general x. y2 equals y and x2 equals x. We then make these substitutions into our equation. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1, which is our point slope equation. At this step, we then want to use the slope intercept form. To do that, we want to have any general line on the coordinate plane crossing over the y-axis. At the y-intercept, we'll let that point be denoted as 0b. We then plug in the 0b values into our point slope formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Where y1 is b and x1 is 0. We then distribute the m. Keep going. If we add b to both sides, we have y equals mx plus b, which is our slope-intercept form of an equation.